common ground. Previously in part one. State Supreme Court is telling the school committee to sign bus and 17,000 kids. Three American families swept up by the forces of change. Why do I have to go to that school? It's something you gotta go through. One mother determined to protect her family. We gotta show the judge we're not gonna back down. Another struggled to keep hers together. He called me nigger. You hit every white man in Boston College that you all have time for school. And a man whose love for his family and his city was about to be tested. We can't turn the clock back now. But as buses roared through the neighborhood, pressure grew on the school principal to take a stand. You seem to think that some people are more equal than others. Still, violence threatened. I put my child on a bus, and you sent her home with blood on her dress. And the city was set on a collision course. No bus will go unprotected, no child unescorted. Tonight, the story continues as the schools erupt. Oh, you think you are? <laughs> with kids from both sides paying the price. But anger spreads to the home front. They can stay here and do as they're told, or they can go with you and do what you let them. The three families are stretched to the breaking point. I can't join a boycott. As Boston's fury intensifies, cracks appear. Hi. And the wall of hatred begins to crumble. In the powerful conclusion of Common Ground. Next. Common Ground, sponsored by New Head and Shoulders Dry Scalp Shampoo. Helps protect your scalp's natural moisture balance. are not going to get you anywhere. I've been listening to angry speeches all morning long, so why don't you just get yourselves out of here, air out your differences, come back, and I'll speak to her. Oh, man, you don't just be letting her speak to us. Come on, we got recognition.
me, and I've never known you to not obey the rules. <laughs> Well, here we are, Mr. Tower, all of us, and we want to meet you right now in the auditorium. Yeah! Choose your representative. The federal court has ruled... <laughs> there should be no segregated school assembly. Then how come you met with them? For what? It was the white kids that went after Bruce. I saw him. They got that rule about equal punishment in a fight. The five white guys got arrested. Yeah, the white judge will bail them out. They'll be right back in school tomorrow, but not Bruce. We gotta do something, babe. We got to do something. this out before. Come inside and we'll talk. You promised to protect us and there are and they're white kids beating us up in the hallway. Look, this is not the place. They need to defend us, but defend ourselves. How come you don't defend the white kids? You're doing exactly what those people out there want you to do. You're playing right into their hands. I'll give you five minutes. Yeah, have then what? Anybody who does not get off this bus will be suspended. Yeah, right.
Childstown High School. With things out of control like this, our lives are in danger. That's why we stayed out today to protest these conditions. We're not saying all white students are bad. It is a small minority that is intimidating us. We believe that their parents have a lot to do with what their kids are doing. If white parents and teachers don't help solve the problem, they are part of the problem. Right on, sister. Right on. Right on. Right on. Now is the time for a total boycott. All right. Let's put an end to the cruelty of busting our children from a dilapidated working class school in the black community to a dilapidated working class school in the white community. Let's shut down Child Town High School and bring our black children home and educate them where they belong. How would I do, Mommy? thought you handled yourself very nice. Very nicely. You know how I feel about you, Mrs. School. But don't you see, we had to protest okay, not at Sandra, you've had your fun. If you ever miss school again, I will personally put my foot in your behind. Mommy, I thought I was doing the right thing. I know that, baby. You just don't know it. Yes, I I'm do. I'm not trying to get out of school. I like school. Only this place is such a dump. Everybody going around hating each other. <laughs> Maybe she closed it down. Oh, then where else am I supposed to send you? You tell me that, because I don't know. I've tried everything, and the judge says you go here, and no question. We can make a whole school. Cassandra, Cassandra. Let me tell you something. This isn't Zambia or, or Nigeria out there on Columbus Avenue. I know African Committee is going to liberate you in the middle of Boston. Because Boston is a white city, and you got to learn to live in it. I'm not talking Brotherhood Week, honey. I'm talking survival. And I'm going to tell you something else. I used to work in factories right here in the middle of Charlestown making bras. And we used to have to be careful going to the bathroom because the white folks see us coming would smear filth on the faucet. I've seen white waitresses spill over jam jars on the table after we finished eating. You said it right this afternoon, baby. There are good white folk out there, but there are a whole lot of bad ones, too. And you can't make them go away by pretending you're in some make-believe Africa. Turning me apart, Father. I love this town. They smile at children whose parents I coached 20 years ago. They stare back at me with eyes of stone. I spit in my face. I don't know how much longer I can take it. We all need God's wisdom and grace. Because we certainly are lacking in it. Your anguish comes from having a big heart, Frank. Seeking to find a common ground black and white, so that one day there may be understanding. I don't blame the kids, Father. You gotta be taught to hate, just the same as you're taught to love. Remember that song? You got to be carefully taught to be afraid. People whose eyes are ugly made. People whose skin is a different shade. You've got to be carefully taught. Could I have your attention, please? This is Frank Powell. This will be my last day. Charlestown High School. New headmaster. No. Hey, Mr. Robert Murphy. Goodbye. God bless you.
quality education. Well, that's exactly what you're going to get. But quality education does not include demonstrations designed to create disorder. There are black students here who have every right. This is as much their school as yours. And no one, no amount of agitation is going to drive them out, or me either. So get back to your classroom and let your quality education begin. I swear to God, I'm calling Kath right now. TPF is worse than the Nazis. I must be the one called him in. He's like Hitler. He canceled our assembly and suspended Ken Wagner. Suspended Ken? Five days for shoving. From who? That means Ken can't play the Brighton game? Yeah, he also told Murphy maybe the whole team wouldn't show up. Who told you that? I was there, I heard him. Finally captured your interest, didn't I, big shot? <coughs> didn't see you on the stairs today. Yeah. What kind of music is that? That's a come on. Tommy, where were you going? Oh, what about this stuff? What happened? TPF. You okay? What about your homework? Thank God, not. Rose Cadiz go right into her apartment like a Jew in the ghetto. help you in ways you never thought of. Working together, showing you how. Helping you say it, doing it now. We're blessing to learn. Nothing works faster. We are the answer. Nothing works like Polaroid. Nothing works like Polaroid. Introducing New Glade Carpet Potpourri. Shake it up. Capture the essence of the country. Flowers, herbs, fruits and flowers. That's Glade Carpet Potpourri. A freshly scent, very light. It helps eliminate tough pet and smoking odors. Shake it up. With the natural scent of the country. Glade Carpet Potpourri. Shake out that country scent with New Glade Carpet Potpourri. Shake it up. Glade Carpet Potpourri. Shake it up. Attenzione! Give your hamburger an Italian accent with new Chef Boyardee Hamburger Italiano. Dinners you make with hamburger for an authentic Italian taste. New Chef Boyardee Hamburger Italiano. Mangia! This is Bob. Bob could stand to lose a few. Bob, meet Pam. Cooking in Pam can save you up to 35,000 calories a year. 
one coat coverage. Many paints talk about it. Some even promise it. But for Sears Best Easy Living Paint, it's guaranteed. And this guarantee covers all 900 beautiful decorator colors. So for an elegant finish, the first time, paint with Sears Best Easy Living. And right now, we reduce the price on this premium quality Easy Living satin to only $11.96. But hurry, sale ends April 1st. Every normal family has to have a normal pet. Oh, look! A timber wolf! Give it a normal name. Cujo has a nice ring. Normal life. Then, meet a private eye with a Ph.D. and T.L.C. Hey, is that the non-stick kind that kind of doesn't hurt when you peel it off? I don't know. Let's check. Ow! Valerie Bertinelli. 15. Right after Normal Life Wednesday. Jean Stapleton. I'd like to rent a room. Whoopi Goldberg. If your check bounces, that's going to be a $45,000 service charge. Baghdad Cafe. Premieres Friday. Will David Copperfield survive the Niagara Falls Challenge Friday? And you're not supposed to be around here. Did you speak to Luffy? Did you tell him the whole team might go with me? Yeah. He says he won't be blackmailed. He's not reinstating you. Okay. Then the whole team will just boycott the son of a bitch. Here comes Timmy. Get loud. Fantastic. Luffy thinks they're gonna back down. We'll get the whole school behind you. I cannot wait to see the look on his face. You're not gonna play. Are you? That's up to the team. How are we going to do it? Yeah. 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 We're yeah. going to do it for Ken. Yeah. 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 For the last white class. Yeah. 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 You, you guys hear what you're talking about? You're talking about not playing football. So what wonder we've been beating our brains practicing for anyway. Boycott? we got to stick together, Flash. We're not going to let Murphy push us around like Garrity. Garrity? What's Garrity got to do with the Brighton game? Huh? It, it was Ken push Murphy around. What's that got to do with football? And what's football got to do with busting anyway? You're a Judas, you know that? Me. The only person you ever think about is yourself. Well, some of us around here are trying to get this school back in shape. Did that ever occur to you? Who did it? Oh, big man on campus. Well, if you walked out, all those kids would walk with you. But no, all you want to do is stay and play your stupid game. That's it. I don't care about my game. Are you my brother or what? Get out! I don't know, Laura, it's my kids. Fighting each other. Kids fight and make up. No, this is serious. This is Lisa and Billy. All on account of busting. I know what you mean. My kid brother's being busted every morning into High Park. And every morning before school, he... He what? He goes in the bathroom and he throws up. football this fall, and there were no blacks on the team. Well, basketball is going to be a different story. It's going to be harder. In fact, it's going to be impossible if this is what starts happening. People on both sides of this busing issue are going to try and draw you into it, playing on a black and white team. Because that's what we are. I'm not saying you don't have opinions of your own. Good. Take them home with you. If you can't keep politics off the basketball court, take a hike. Here's a good one. Okay, come on. Finish, finish! Come on, come on. 
why Burke's leading the league. They're stronger than us, man for man. But let me tell you something. We're a better team if we play as a team. No, wait a minute. No, I take that back. Two reasons they're better. One, they're taking away the corners. And two, they think they can't lose. And they go you believe in it. This has got the makings of a great second half comeback. Charles Town trailing Burke now only by eight. Edmonds with the ball in the corner. It's batted. Volleyball by Floyd. McGoffin's got it. No one going to catch him ahead of the pack all the way. Lay it up in the air. And Charles Town trailing Burke now only by six. Charles Town now trailing it only by one. Dickerson all alone. three seconds, all right? I want pick set for Terry in the right corner, all right? Terry! 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 Here, take a shot at four seconds. Crash the boards. Everybody crash the boards. Come on, guys. One, two, three, two! So it all comes down to this. between his legs. Hey, you were there, Flash. You were there. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Yeah, I don't know. Homework, I guess. Listen, why don't you come on over to my place? We're having a party. You know, to celebrate. Are you kidding me? How'd I get home? I'll get my sister to hold your hand on the orange line. You're crazy, you know that, Terry? Can you imagine me in Roxbury? Yeah. Is it really Roxbury you worried about, man? No, I guess not. I mean, I like to, but I just can't. throwing things out front. We brought a bus around back. Around back? What for? For the blacks. Oh, what the hell is this? I thought we won tonight. You coming? Billy. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Forget Man. about it. I'm going with them. All right, guys. Come on. No big deal. Let's go. 
Dear David, I miss you. I'm still chasing the story through Europe. Don't know where it'll end. But you always know where you can reach me. I've got you on an 8 o'clock flight to Vienna and a car will meet you at the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I can wait. <laughs> the longer I'm gone, the more your letters mean to me. I'm missing you. In my mind, I'm kissing you. I'm lost without you. Let me know your cash. I practically live at American Express. They take care of everything. Get this. When I had a crazy idea, they even arranged a balloon so I could get pictures. My editor loved them and sent me to Paris. Sorry. It's been a week. There's no letter today. I'm going home. I'm sorry. I need to book a flight to San Francisco. But I just got here. I've been missing you. <laughs> Having someone who cares for you wherever you go. Membership has its privileges. At Burger King, that flame broiled taste you've always loved is about to take a new turn to chicken. Introducing the BK Broiler. For a chicken sandwich with that flame broiled taste, sometimes you've got to break the rules. And now, Burger King is turning hours into seconds. Because after 4 p.m., when you buy one BK Broiler flame broiled chicken sandwich, you get a second for just 99 cents. For a great deal on a great tasting chicken sandwich, sometimes you've got to break the rules. I soaked in it! It's finely soaked in. Palmolive dishwashing liquid softens hands while you do dishes. And those thick suds get even the crustiest pans shiny and clean. Original or lemon lime. Palmolive softens hands while you do dishes. If your sinus medicine has you sleepwalking through your day, get Sudafed Sinus. It's not aspirin pain reliever and fast-acting decongestant give you fast sinus relief. That won't put you fast asleep. <laughs> Common ground will continue. Americans duck on welfare. The fight is on to fix it. There's the fireman. What will the next 48 hours be like Thursday? It's about time for JR's most cunning plot. Oh, it was a sorry day when you first set foot in this house. His son's most defiant act. Michelle Stevens is a public health hazard. I'm not leaving Dallas till after my wedding. To Michelle. Dallas's most sizzling pot boiler. Something this hot's just gotta move. Friday at 10. This is CBS. What's been keeping you from using Roundup RT herbicide for cheap grass instead of tillage? Cost. Bring the price down. The price is down to only $3.75 an acre for cheap grass control. Just $3.75? That's right. Roundup RT kills cheap grass and only one pass for just $3.75 an acre. Now, how about Roundup RT for cheap grass control? For $3.75 an acre, I can't afford not to use it. Roundup RT stops cheap grass in one pass for just $3.75. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the Creme 2 Spring Bargain Bag. So open your door to discounts galore and hundreds of dollars in savings. Like two belly busters from Zip for only $2.99 and $20 off custom framing at Karen's Collector's Cottage. Plus, play along with the Cosby Quiz and you could win a 52-inch color TV or a Cosby Show t-shirt. So stretch your dollars with super discounts from the Crim2 Spring Bargain Bag. Coming to your door April 7th. Chiefs Blazers playoff hockey tonight on Crim2 Sports. Wait a minute. What is this here? I don't believe this. This is the third time. Yeah, well, welcome to the city of Boston, Come on, Come on. that's not a foot. Now you get to take a couple of yardstick or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, we're patrolling on, the streets and they're giving out parking tickets. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's not going to break the bank. Come on, have a good night now. Good night. We asked for police protection in the neighborhood, and there isn't a cop inside. But they just picketed every other car again, including ours, for parking more than a foot from the curb. I checked it myself. It couldn't be more than nine inches. What's nine inches, Daddy? 
Hi, fellas. What was that? Yes, Jody, I'm fine. Tell Mrs. Diley, your husband's crazy going after pugs like that. Good way to get yourself killed. Well, he's dead, Mr. Clobber. I'm not particularly proud of it, perhaps. But isn't that what the bed's for? Come on. Oh, see, I wonder if I really hurt him. Never hurt anyone before. I mean... Not since locker room fights when I was a kid kind of thing. I hope I didn't really hurt him. Some people think you're a hero. Jesus. Johnny. What's happening to us? We're moving into this neighborhood for racial justice, and now I'm running out of the house to... hit black people over the head. You weren't chasing him because he was black. You were chasing him because he was a mugger. They're not in the street. They're coming in the bathroom window. Sometimes I feel like we're trying to... I feel like we're trying to shovel back the ocean with a teaspoon. I think we ought to get out. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. think of living anywhere else. And where else could we work 15 minutes from home and the kids at school? Just, I mean, they're just around the... Where else could we walk to the symphony or, or to the museum or to Fenway Park? Where else could we ever find the friends we've made here? The, the Shannons and the, and the Bowers and the Trumps? Colin, I, I know that the city is dirtier and, and there's more crime, but, but we've made a community here. I mean, whenever there's trouble, there's always a neighbor to help. Blow, blow your free on horn and, and there's, there's 50 people on the street in one minute. That last part that gets me with liberty and justice for all can you believe them saying that if there's one thing these townies got plenty of it's patriotism 
They just love to wrap their prejudice up in a flag and make it look good. One nation indivisible, my ass. I know you have classes to go to. Come on. We want to speak to Mr. Murphy. You spoke to him only yesterday. Look, we're doing algebra we completed two years ago because the black kids can't keep up. That's ridiculous! That's ridiculous. Right. Now, where oh, do you think you're that. going? Mm -hmm. Now, you kids get back to your classes. You heard me. I'm serious. Now, get out of here. There's nothing like DuPont Stain Master Carpet for handling a pinch of this. Measure the milk carefully. And for dealing with a dash of that. Oh. But it's not a Stain Master Carpet. Wasn't that fun? Super DuPont. If it doesn't say DuPont. The Volvo 240 has a reputation for surviving accidents. And we at Subaru have always been impressed by that. So we gave the Subaru Legacy Wagon unibody construction, like the Volvo 240. But we also gave it full-time four-wheel drive and anti-lock brakes. Because the best way to survive an accident is not to get into one. Factory-to-dealer cash incentives on selected models make it a great time to come into your Subaru dealer. Looking for something a little bigger. I'll take. It. When the moment comes to start life on your own, there's no better card than MasterCard. It's just the bare necessity. With payment flexibility and unsurpassed acceptance, so you can buy what you want, what just this, where you want, for the way we really live. So, what do you think of my price? It's <laughs> definitely you. <laughs> MasterCard, master the moment. Chili dog with onions. Indigestion time. 2.2. Lab tests show Riopan Plus 2 starts neutralizing acid on stomach contact in just 2.2 seconds. Riopan's incredible. Remember 2.2. Remember Riopan. The camera picks up everything. Every detail, every flaw. If my hair is not perfect, not shiny, the camera can tell. That's why I use Germac. Germac never lets my hair down. Germac never lets your hair down. Common ground will continue. You never know where history will unfold. 
but you always know where to turn. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. You always know when it's CBS News. It's an all-new hour of suspense with the world's master illusionist. The magic of David Copperfield, the Niagara Falls Challenge. Friday at 8. This is CBS. Whether the scheme's picture perfect or a little bit on the dreary side, Prem 2 News has it in focus for you. This is Peter Colford. And Laura Ashley. If you want to be prepared for skiing this weekend, my ski reports at 6.30 and noon highlight area conditions. And of course, the weather's a big part of the day on the slopes, too. So my forecasts and ski reports at 5 and 11 make sure you're prepared for the powder. So if you're heading for the slopes this weekend, join us for ski reports Fridays right here on, on Creme 2, 2 News. News. Do you feel like you have to be the mother and the father? Someone who's married can say, well, wait till your father gets home. But there's no yeah. father coming yeah. home. When I was in school, I used to lie to people about it, you know, about what my... My dad's away for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> he's on business for a long time. He hasn't been home for three months. He's very busy. <laughs> Single Mothers on the next Oprah Winfrey Show. Wednesday at 4 on Crim 2. Watch for the bargain. Coming your way April 7th. So there I was having breakfast when this Frank? friend came over and asked me why I'm eating Cheerios. Hey, simple choice, I told him, whole grain oats. Well, then right away he started going on about all this nutrition talk and said he was all confused. So I stopped him right there. I said, look, Cheerios is low sugar whole grain oats with all the oat bran. It's nutrition made simple. Look, you get enough confusion during the day, I told him. You don't need any more over breakfast. Not fair. I have to shampoo and mousse and blow dry. My scalp pays the price. I get tight, itchy dry scalp. Not dandruff, but dry scalp. But now there's new dry scalp shampoo from Head & Shoulders. Helps keep moisture in the scalp. Other shampoos can trip away. Now I can have beautiful hair without dry scalp worries. Try Head & Shoulders' new dry scalp shampoo and help wipe out dry scalp. I've been telling you all along, you've got to take this fight to the streets. The kids are there every night. I mean, start busting some heads out there. There's all this violence taking at Terry Corbett, besides making it feel like a big man. Violence means different things to different people, Allie. To me, it's the police beating up my cabin in school today. Yeah. Yeah, or, or the TPF walking attack dogs and telling me to get off my own street. I know that. But if we look like bigger bullies than the police, that's what they're going to show on TV. And that's going to make us and the movement look bad. So? So what do you got in mind, Alice? More sit-ins? More sing-alongs? More prayer meetings? Look, we stood up to the police and got respect for it. Yeah, and what'd you get for all your Hail Marys? But more niggas in town town! Hey! I'm not here because I hate blacks. So what do we do about it? We'd already lost in court, we lost at the polls, and I'm sick of stupid marching. Right. What else can we do when no one's listening to us? Go see Gowdy. I'll make much better time walking. Cabby, I'll get out of here. See you later. Okay. Oh, my God. 
second day in a row, South African colors, those of mixed blood, joined the nation's blacks demonstrating against the lack of freedom in both of their communities. As many Don't as 5,000 young blacks... I'm not watching it. Central... I'm watching it, do you mind? Come on, Lisa, give us a royal break. What's eating you? I don't know, Ma. I keep seeing everyone beating up that black guy at City Hall. Well, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. He had no right walking in the middle of things. No. My... You can't say that. You don't know anything about him, except he's black. He's just a person, like you and me. It was like everyone was trying to kill him. Well, he's fine now. There was a picture in the paper with a nice big bandage on his face. Pa, that's not the point. What is the point, Lisa? Why are you feeling this way? I don't know. It's like... It's like this whole year has been about the wrong thing. I mean, I should have been going to the prom and, and doing pep rallies and, and working on the yearbook and doing candy stripers. And instead, the whole year has been about cops and... And, and boycotts and walkouts and sit-ins. Those things aren't wrong, Lisa. Ma, I only 17 once. I only get to go to high school once. And it's supposed to be the best time of your whole life, right? Because if it's gonna be the same next year, I don't want to go back.
straight. I get stuck because you're too lazy to move your fat ass. Just what I need. It's been raining every day and I get stuck out here with a loud mouth punk in the middle of nowhere. Ah! Ah! What? What is it? What? It's a rat! It's a rat! Where? Where? It's the biggest rat I've ever seen! That is not a rat. Have you ever seen a furry rat before? That is a squirrel. Squirrel? Oh, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy oh, hamburger yeah. mm. and a side of fat on your end. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nikki, where do you learn to cook like that? Watch your mom. What's going on? Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut <laughs> up. The original hardwood car were recently restored. Which shows what one could do for all the architectural details is just a little curiosity. We're just two minutes off the mass pipe, 14 minutes to downtown Boston. Oh, I could see the two of you sitting right in here. The Newton schools are among the best in the country, and the crime rate among the lowest. Believe me, I understand why you're thinking of leaving the city. I used to live in the South End. Isn't it something how in just a few short years the city has turned into an absolute jungle? I'm not going, you You will make lots of new friends, Brad. I don't want new friends, and I don't want parents like you. Come in, then we'll go to I know how you feel. Your mother and I feel the same way. I'm upset about it, too, all right? But we both feel we're doing the right thing. Now, listen here. We love you. We love you very much. You know that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to let anything bad happen to you. Come here. It's okay. That's me, Christina Ferrari, after I had my baby. Since then, I lost 25 pounds in three months with the Ultra Slim Fast plan. It was easy. Ultra Slim Fast is really delicious and satisfying. I'd have a thick chocolate shake for breakfast, another for lunch, then a great dinner. I love Ultra Slim Fast. It gave me back my figure, and I feel great. Now the only baby fat in this family is on the baby. Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week. We'll take off the weight. Get a bike so bright, brand new, brand new Clorox too. Mama's got the magic to see them looking new. Get a bike so bright, brand new Clorox too. New Clorox too keeps clothes looking newer longer. A new combination of Clorox color safe bleach and brighteners no one else has keeps colors and whites bright and pretty. Get a bike so bright. Everyone who takes a vacation should meet a person like this. She's warm, she's personable, and she's an owner of a major U.S. corporation. Where do you find her? At the Avis counter. Okay, you're all set with your Chevy Lumina. Avis Incorporated is the only major rent-a-car company owned by its corporate employees. How do we get free unlimited mileage? I'm friends with the owner. Get free unlimited mileage and low rates on a Chevy Lumina. At Avis, we're trying harder than ever. A tampon should help you feel fresh. It's a fact. The number one choice in deodorant tampons is Playtex. With Playtex, I really feel fresh. Playtex deodorant tampons. The protection to choose when you know the fact. Coming tomorrow on Video Cassette, Academy Award winner, Dead Poets Society. I like fire and I give him a 42, but I can't <laughs> dance to it. Dead Poets Society, starring Robin Williams. See for yourself what made this film an Academy Award winner.
Rent it starting tomorrow. Anybody? What's the stereotype? Irish men are drunk. <laughs> well, they are, aren't they? There you go. An oversimplified idea or belief considered typical of a group. Gimme, gimme. An oversimplified idea or belief considered typical of a group. Gimme some more. Well, like when we go and play hockey teams out in Saugus or uh, Stoneham, you know, they all think that everyone from Charlestown's like carrying a knife in their back pocket or something. Yeah, you think all of us do. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that. But it's true, isn't it? That you carry a knife? No, you believe that I do. <laughs> okay, okay, so we all have our stereotypes, usually about things that we don't know much about. Tell me some of the stereotypes that you have about each other. Well. Blacks can't dance. When they, when they rock and roll, when they rock and roll, they look really weird. Oh, yeah. right. no, no, no. Huh? What do you call this? Yeah. Oh, Maybe milkshake. You? You dance? You look like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, baby. You wish. You cut it out. Hey, hey. Knock it off, my boy. You've been hassling Trisha since the bell. Hey, Mr. Grace. Why are you always taking their side? Yeah. See, you think because you got a black teacher, you can do anything you want in this room. Well, there is no black power in here. Yeah. There ain't no white power either. Yeah. There is only the power of amazing grace. <laughs> More stereotypes. Yeah, playful smell funny. <laughs> okay, okay, how about that? How many of you white folk think the black people smell funny. Oh, ain't she fun? He does. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. So what? You think every black guy in school is to jump you or something? Bye. You gotta feel the action, sugar. It takes a little body English. You two don't look like sisters. Sisters don't have to look alike. Yeah, you look mom. Sure. That's because I am. That's what I like. <laughs> Mature women. You thought when I sent you out for ribs and fries, you'd be smoking weed and making ties. Well, I don't even like weed. How do you know you don't like it if you haven't smoked? You know, we don't have to tell you everything. Then she pulls a righteous face and won't say nothing back. Like we just proved a point. So I don't say nothing back. What I should have said is, what are you afraid of, woman? That we're going to make the same mistakes you made and wind up trapped with six kids, no man, and no fun? You're not going to work, Richard. You smell like gardenias in the moonlight. Tell I'll see you tomorrow for sure. I'm off to work, ma'am. Where are you two? 
still going. We cleaned our room. Well, I see a sink full of dishes. Oh, come on, Mommy. We just got have eyes. The jolly black mommy who cleans up after everybody around here? You never asked Richard or Wayne or Freddie or George to do any of that stuff. They come and go as they please. She's just looking for ways to keep us in. Well, I'm going out. Oh, yeah, you go out of here. You don't need to come back. I just want you to know how proud I am of you. Your dad would have been, too. You're the third member of our family to be elected class president. Danny, your Uncle Roger. I was class treasurer. It meant a lot in those days. People are going to look up to you, Lisa. People will listen to you. I know, Ma. Powder Cake's calling a school boycott this Thursday to protest the second year of judicial tyranny on Bunker Hill. How do you like the sound of that? I can't do that, Ma. Can't do what? I'm class president now. I've got to set an example for the school. I can't join a boycott if I'm supposed to be making things better around here. And busing's making it better. Ma, it's the only year I got left. Yeah. It's okay, Lisa. I always told you to make up your own mind. So I'll do my thing, you do yours. Mom. Oh, will you stop all lying me? My brother Donnie's moving out of Charlestown. Me too. Hang him. South Shore. The place nice by the water. 
My whole family, you know. Gone. Not me. I'm stuck here. Townie for life. How come they don't understand that's why it's so important to me? Powder keg, matches, the rallies. Not letting those big shots who don't even live here come in and change things. Oh, come off it, Alice, my brother says to me. Give it a rest. Give it a rest. This is an apple, and this is an apple. The difference between the two, gum disease. You don't brush, you don't floss, you don't visit your dentist, you don't eat this apple. You eat this one. This message was brought to you with the approval of the American Dental Association by Crest, the dentist's choice, because healthy gums are important to healthy teeth. See this number? This is what it stands for. It's the patent number of a unique conditioner that leaves hair fuller. Who's got that patent? Prell. Yes, Prell. We've developed a clean rinse formula. Nothing rinses cleaner. So nothing leaves hair fuller. Our conditioner is so unique, we've got a patent on it. Prell. The cleaner the rinse, the fuller the hair. Spring is prime home selling season because there are more buyers in the market. More reasons than ever to put your trust in the Century 21 system. We have access to more buyers through our referral network of 6,000 offices nationwide. The exclusive action warranty puts a promise of service in writing. And year in, year out, no one sells more homes. So if you're ready to sell, now's the time to call your local Century 21 office. Century 21! If you wear ordinary contacts, all too often you're doing this, and this, and this. That's why ActiVue Disposable Contact Lenses wants to offer you this, a free trial pair of the first lens you never have to clean. See your eye care professional for an exam, and if ActiVue is right for you, you'll never have to do this or this, because all you have to do is this. ActiVue from Johnson & Johnson, the first disposable contact lens. We will return to Common Ground. Jean Stapleton's getting ready for her return to CBS. Now, are you dressed and ready to go? No! Too bad, come on. Whoopi Goldberg's ready for anything. Isn't this interesting? Ooh, I saw one of these in my gynecologist's office. It's an oasis filled with laughs. We aim to please. Baghdad Cafe premieres Friday. A visit from an old friend could be a deadly reunion. Who else but your best friend would come 3,000 miles to kill you? On an all-new Jake and the Fat Man. Then, as their case comes to a climax... This investigation has cost me the best agent I ever worked with. Then he becomes the enemy. Wise guy. A stranger in a strange town. Wednesday. This is CBS. Come see what a difference an hour makes at Lens Lab where eye care professionals custom grind lenses right in the store, even no-line bifocals. Listen. People told me that my glasses made me look younger, and to do that in only an hour was really great. My new glasses changed my appearance in less than an hour. My new glasses give me a more professional look, and I got them in less than an hour. The greatest part is that you do get your glasses in an hour. Lens Lab. Glasses custom made in an hour. In Spokane at Northtown Mall, across from Frederick and Nelson. This is a Cram 2 News update. I'm Charles Rowe. It's 41 degrees in Spokane. Tonight at 11, we'll take you to where a section of I-90 has collapsed into Lake Coeur d'Alene. What went wrong? Some say the stuff on library shelves is not satisfying the appetites of Spokane readers. At 11, checking up the places that check out the books. Now this. 
for these women who murdered. She shot him twice in the head. Once was not enough. I couldn't understand how somebody could do something so horrible. Female serial killers on the next Geraldo. Wednesday at 11 on Crim 2. Also, Redchenko Sports, Peter Covert Weather at 11. Single moms on the next Oprah Winfrey show. So, who's the computer for? For my daughter. College. There are moments when gold MasterCard makes a difference. Uh, can I... Uh... Oh, no, 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 I got this one. That's my dad. With more buying power and the best buyer protection. <laughs> My skateboard. Master Purchase covers you for 90 days against loss, theft, or breakage. Dad? If anything happens, one phone call will replace it. Maybe I should carry this one. <laughs> gold MasterCard. The best gold card to master the moment. There are rent-a-car companies better known than Enterprise, but none that know their customers better. That's 200 Rogers Road, right? Great. Just call us. We'll come pick you up. Drop the car off, we'll drop you home. Because at Enterprise, we don't just care about the distance our cars go. May I help you? But the distance our people go. Thank you. Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We go the extra distance. Maybe I do. Maybe I love you. Well, you move in here. You have it like this all the time. And I just moved out so nobody be telling me what to do all the time. Maybe I'll give her a call for sure happy Thanksgiving. She'll tell me all the stuff she's baking, pies and yams and pecan stuffing.
the madhouse. Time. She treated us like slaves. See, so watch what you say about my friend Reggie. Baby, you hear? Come on, baby. You only hear her side. She, she makes you feel guilty when you, when you haven't done anything. She doesn't know what a good time is. Cassandra, come on, you come with me. Let's you and me take a walk. Come on. Let me tell you something about your mother. She won't thank me for. She used to hang out mm -hmm, and raise all kinds of hell. She had two kids, Richard and George, before she even met your pops, who I don't mind telling you was a real drag. But your mama wasn't sitting home nights reading a book. She ain't no fool. <laughs> what she is, is a poor black woman. And that, honey, is the most oppressed animal in this society. You, me, her, we're all the way down at the bottom of the totem pole, and ain't nobody gonna give us no slack. <laughs> you all is out on the street chasing the big American dream. Some men, just like I was, just like your mama was. Well, there ain't no big men to stop the pain. And there ain't no American dream for poor black girls in Boston. Rachel running with can't take care of you. They can't take care of themselves. How do you know who we're with? Honey, I know. The men in Boston is all jive, and you let them get away with it. You got to get yourself some real power. What you kind got... of power are you talking about? The only kind that there is, honey, money power. And to get that, you got to shut that dream. Stay in school and get yourself some bad bitch lessons. You know what a bad bitch is? She's a woman, black or white, who knows who she is, knows how to get what she wants, can take care of herself without begging nobody for nothing. Because let me tell you, honey, being a woman is a bitch. Like they say on the street, just ask your mama. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. And thank you for bringing this family together for this Thanksgiving meal. Good food, good meat. Dear Lord, let's eat. Yeah. Oh, Elba ain't no kind of prayer. Elba, I want that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, so. uh, oh, Elba, you know that. Life's sure looks different from the street, don't it, honey? I'm a big girl now. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You think life's a pretty dish of cranberry sauce. And what about little Rachel moving in with some dude twice her age? You sound like my mother. Lord have mercy. Yeah, she got that right. <laughs> so, where's little Rachel? Uh-uh, I promise not to tell you. You and Daisy are just trying to wear me down. You got that, babe. It's the old Chinese water torture. Your mother and I don't get along well. A whole lot of we knows. We still family, Cassandra. I watched you and Rachel and the boys grow up right alongside Maria and Charlene and Odie. I care what happens to you. So where's your little sister? I told you, I promise. Uh, where is your little sister? Down here. What you got that I want? Your two women.
prodigal lady has returned. Well, what am I supposed to do? Throw my arms around them and say all is forgiven? Sounds good to me. Rachel, baby, what made you run away like that? All the rules and stuff. Wash this, dry that, clean this, fetch that. I couldn't stand no more of that stuff. Well, the same rules are still here. I work all day, and I am not coming home to clean up after your mess. Oh, Rachel, why don't you ease up a Please bit? mind your business. Because your daughters was out there on the street living with men. What should I do? Close my eyes? No, I never asked you for a damn thing. What would you do if my daughters was out there on the street? Step over them. You probably would on your way to church. Look, it's up to you. You could come home to the same rules you left. Or you could walk right back out that door with your ever-loving heart. <laughs> you putting them out? Look, don't you hear me, woman? Now, I'm giving them a choice. Now, they can stay here and do as they're told, or they can go with you and do what you let them. Now, what's it gonna be? Permission to put up a Christmas tree in the lobby and cheer this dump up. Do you want to help out? Murphy says you can do it only if you involve the black kids, right? Yeah. So what? You got something against Christmas? No, I like Christmas. I just don't like staying around here after school. It gets dark real fast this time of year. We could never afford it. We have to take money out of the prom account. Hey, can I help you, kid? Let's engage this gentleman in a little uh, basketball talk. Uh, hi. What am I going to do? Well, you can sing. What am I going to sing? Well, I don't know, but I've been listening to your big mouth around here for two years. I can't sing. Sure, sure you can. Come on, I've heard you sing all the time. You expect me to get up in front of a bunch of townies and make a fool out of myself? met the maiden oh so fair by yelling to the tower
judge is laughing at him for being a good nigger. Hey, that's not what's happening. You heard people laugh like that last two years around here? They're just beginning to face the music, babe. No comparison. It's so obvious. Are you kidding? America's coffee drinkers are discovering that Maxwell House Instant looks more like fresh ground coffee than these instant coffee crystals. What are those crystals anyway? Smells good. Maxwell House is blended with Colombian beans. It looks, smells, and tastes. It's like fresh ground. It is good. Maxwell House Instant. Everything about it says fresh ground taste. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do it right. We do chicken right. new toothpaste will blow you away <laughs> with a breath freshener that's a brush of fresh air it's new aqua fresh extra fresh with an extra minty extra fresh breath freshener <laughs> that beats the leading brand so next time you brush get cavity fighting fluoride and plaque removing power plus an extra fresh breath freshener all in one new aqua fresh extra fresh it's a brush of fresh air Summer's Eve. It's clean, fresh feeling. Keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's Eve brings back freshness anytime. <laughs> you would drink this vodka. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
Only for a few minutes, I was a star. Can you believe that? 500 townies cheering for me. They even gave me a prize. Honorable mention. So I can't say I never won nothing. But now I'm back in real life, and I don't know where to go. I can't go home. Mommy just won't see I've grown up. No well, part of me has. And living with Alva is no good. Too many people in that little house all screaming at one another. There's no place for me to go but down. I just don't know what to do. Sure, like not knowing where I'm going to find a bed for tonight, or what it's like being the only black in a room full of whites. Cassandra, sometimes I'd like to punch you in the nose. You, you, you think so well. You write beautifully. If only you do a little work, you'd be getting A's instead of C's. I got my credits. <laughs> Is that all you want? How do you know what I want? I don't know what I want. Why don't you just get off my case? I'd like to just grab you by the shoulders and shake you. Why should I open a door and let you in? If I do that, all the fire's gonna come jumping out. You can go. I'm tired of just being here. I want to do my time and get on back to my own black mess. Coming to stay. No, oh, we're gonna boycott the graduation party. Wait a minute. What about the kids? What about the kids who are refusing to go? Some of us have the courage of our convictions. Are you calling my daughter a coward? Some of us didn't sell out. You just better watch your mouth, Karen. Now, we've been through this thing for three years, through all the street fighting and Hail Marys. If you want to attack Garrity, go ahead. If you want to accuse Teddy Kennedy, Tip O'Neill, Louise Day Hicks, sure, there's a lot of Irish that walked out on us, but nobody gets off calling my daughter a turncoat. She worked her heart out this year trying to keep those kids in there together. Now, it may not have been my way, but Lisa's no clone. She made up her own mind. Having the courage of your convictions.
Stop on mind me. Here. You deserve a rose. Ladies and Mr. Murphy, faculty, fellow graduates, parents, and friends. Looking out at all of you, it's hard to believe that our high school years are coming to an end. Who was it said that these are the best years of our lives? Well, they didn't know what this class would be going through. The helicopters and the buses, the police and the newsmen, the fear and the confusion. But we made it, didn't we? Because while we were learning history, we were making some, too. We were learning about ourselves. And not always things that we liked finding out. We learned how easy it is to hate, how hard it is to heal. But we also learned People can change. The first thing we saw every morning coming up that hill to school, some of us riding a bus, some of us walking, was the Bunker Hill Monument. And it reminded us that it's right to fight for what you believe in. But being a townie means more than that. It means you've got to care about that person beside you, whether they're from Charlestown or not. The very first townie was a man named John Winthrop. He sailed from England 347 years ago and landed his boat at the bottom of what is now Warren Street. On the voyage over, he spoke to his fellow passengers. And what he said to them, I'd like to say to you today. We must be knit together in this work as one person. In all meekness, gentleness, and patience. We must delight in each other. Make others' condition our own. We must consider that we shall be like a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us.
had to have been. What are you doing here? Mm. I love the sound. Smells good. Why don't you climb into something dry and stay for dinner? Mommy, I want to talk to you. That's not what we're doing. You want to fetch yeah. me the oregano? I mean, sit down and talk together. I've tried talking to you. But all I get back is, I don't know. That's not talking. That's interrogating. That's whooping. Whooping. I never whooped you. Mommy, I'm not a little girl anymore. I know that, baby. So now you're going to tell me things I want to know. Like what? Like why I make you scrub the floors? No. Just being a mother. Think being a mother is so easy? You're a good mother. What is it, Daniel? Being black in a white city? No. I ain't gonna use my black as an excuse for me. Did I teach you to talk like that? She got days of waking me bad bitch lessons. <laughs> you got Daisy. You got Alva. What you need me for anyway? Mommy, well, you never told me about my father. Heywood. What you want to know about him? You never told me anything. I mean, I was always here to ask. No, you wasn't. He was always turning the chicken. He was a sergeant from Alabama. What I want to know is, did you love him? Did he love you? So you don't make the same mistake? I want to know what it, what you felt when you were 17. I want to know what made you feel good and feel like crying. I want to know if you had dreams. Of course I had I want to know why I can't remember birthday parties. Are you hugging and kissing Hello, me? baby. I hugged you. I hugged and kissed you. I hope so. I hope so, because I want to remember. You know, you can't always blame your parents for the feelings that you feel. <laughs> I don't blame nobody. Then why did you stay away so long? I was scared. Scared of what? <laughs> scared how angry you'd be when you found out I didn't graduate. Baby, you did. <laughs> you
so it ended for me and my class. Am I better off, like Mummy said I would be? I don't know. We did help integrate the Boston schools, so maybe it will be better for the kids who come after us. I hope so. I sure hope so. You can't have beautiful hair.